Hey guys, what's up? So today I want to go over how to run the 400 meter dash and um, I'm going to specify and this is going to be an outdoor 400 meter dash because an indoor and an outdoor race in the 400 are totally different animals. So um, for those that don't know me, my name is Fallon Headings. I'm a physical therapist and a track and field performance coach. So um, Let's get started. So there's four phases to the 400, and this is consistent with both the outdoor and the indoor 400. Um, so there's four phases, and this is by um, Coach Hart. Um, he created the, the four Ps. So the four Ps are push, pace, power, and then pray. So let's start at the first one, push. So the really important aspect of the 400 is when you go out in your race, you have about five to seven seconds that you can power through your um, alactic system, which means you have about that many seconds before if you would continue running at that maximum effort, that 100% effort, lactic acid would start to build in. So you have about five to seven seconds, depending on your body, um, without lactic acid pulling in. So you have to use that to your advantage. So you have to run 100% effort for about five to seven seconds. So we'll say five to seven seconds, 100%. So you are running 100% effort around this um, starting point until you cap your alactic system, okay? So that's the first part, but again, that five to seven seconds is a little different for, for everyone. And then the main thing with this is if you start to pull into your lactic acid, you're gonna start to fill your lactic acid over here instead of down here because your body isn't gonna have enough time for recovery. So then the next um, phase of the 400 is your pace phase. So this is honestly, where I see 75% of runners mess up in the 400 meter dash. So I always say the way you're gonna win the 400 is this phase right here, the pace phase. So the pace phase is along that back stretch. And so many people, I hear so many coaches say, just just stride the, just stride the back stretch. Go, go out hard and then stride the back stretch. It's not necessarily a stride. This actually should be the fastest part of your race um, because you're accelerating through here. That's the only reason this part isn't the fastest part of your race. You're at 100% effort in the first part. You're not at 100% effort in the second part, but because you're up to, you're kind of maintaining that speed. So I essentially say you have to find your race. This is where you find your race. So you make it your race in the second part. So a lot of times this is where you're kind of using your peripheral vision and kind of looking out to maybe in front of you. Are you gaining on the guys in front of you? Are you slowing down? Like you, this is where you eyeball essentially when the break line happens or where you should be even with everybody. Are you ahead of that game? Are you behind that game? Because if you can't figure that out until the last corner, you don't have a lot of time to make that up. So with the back, this is where you're finding your race. Do you need to kind of keep that acceleration going a little bit more? Do you need to kind of slow down and take a breather? But essentially what I just tell people here is make sure you're working on your form, keep your arms moving, keep your legs moving, and just find, find that pace and make it your race, okay? So then we go into the third part, which is the power part. So this is gonna happen about over around 200, about the 200, 210 mark, I say. Um, so the 210 mark, you start to now power again. And I like to explain this phase as kind of, it's very similar to you starting to do a hill sprint. So you're not going right back up to 100% max effort but you start to feel like you're really starting to build power again. So I always say this back stretch should feel like you're starting to run a hill sprint. And then the funny, the last, the last phase essentially um, 
is going to be around that 320 mark where you have about 80 meters left to go. And the lactic acid is saying, hello, I'm here. Um, so that's essentially when they say you should pray. But really, again, this is where you have to relax and focus on your form. And I go over this in the 200 meter dash video of how to run the 200. Um, once your lactic acid system starts to creep in, there's nothing that you can do to um, make it go away. I mean, you could slow down to let your body recover, but then it's gonna be the end of the race. So essentially all you have to do within those last um, 60, 80 meters when you start to feel that lactic acid is relax and keep your form. Keep the knees driving, keep the arms driving, and don't let different areas, don't try and clench your fists really hard because then you're gonna be putting too much energy to those. Don't let, don't clench your face really hard because then you're putting too much energy to the facial muscles. And really just focus on keeping form and keeping relaxed. And that's going to be the most important thing for the 400 meter dash. So that is how you run an outdoor 400 meter um, dash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like, um, please like, um, comment, and subscribe to my page. As always, happy training. See you guys.